Hello my friends. Today we are cooking one of my favourite things and that is a pie, Sharon. A pie. We got a lovely subscriber who bought us some pie dishes. These things. So it's only fair, Shell, that we do something with it. So we're going to do today chicken and mushroom pies. Yay. Fantastic, made with flaky Ooh. pastry. Oh, hello, baby. Slow down, you move too fast. Right, like all our recipes, folks, we don't try to overcomplicate things. We like to keep it simple, baby, don't we? You say I'm simple. No, I'm not saying that at all. But, yes. but we like to keep things as simple as possible so they're easy to understand and near enough every everyone can do them. Because we think that cooking is a is a lost what's the word? Art. Lost art, basically, yeah. So we're trying to bring it back home because Unfo Unfortunately, all these processed foods have got loads of stuff in them which we don't like, and also loads of bad oils and all that. So, mm. we're hopefully going to correct that by we're bringing back home cooking a little bit. So, and anyway, it tastes so much better. Yeah. So, anyway, let's have a look at the ingredients of this one. Nice and simple, folks. Here's the ingredients to our homemade chicken and mushroom pies 700 grams or 1.54 pounds of diced chicken. 150 grams or 5.3 ounces of mushrooms, one tin of cream of chicken soup, two pre-made rolls of puff pastry, one large egg, two teaspoons of chicken seasoning, some salt and black pepper. Right, so first things first, folks, we're gonna get that chicken cooked, and we've got our little stove here to do that, yep. our little camping stove, we're just gonna turn that on. Right, now we had this chicken, and as I say, we've cut it up into small pieces, folks, very small pieces. And we're just going to get this chicken browned off and we're going to add the seasonings as well to it. Just going to sprinkle some over the chicken. This is chicken thighs I've used in here, skins and bone chicken thighs. Yeah, and this seasoning, again, we're just winging it as you can see. And it's just a generic chicken seasoning showing this, yeah. isn't it? It'll just bring out the flavour of the chicken. So anyway, we're going to brown that off for you. Right, we're browning up the treat there, folks. I just want to show you our little cookers. Someone did express a concern that a big pan hangs over the gas bottle here and the flames make this gas bottle too hot but just to let you see them flames there are nowhere near the gas bottle folks so just make sure that you are over to one side a little bit if you've got a really big pan like what we have but even so this is on full pelt now and uh nothing's hanging over there folks just to let you know that and we've also had people say oh these aren't good for indoor use they're not suitable for indoor use well there's only one burner there giving off a gas flame there's eight over there, so... Hang uh, on. What? Don't they have these sort of things in mobile camp when you do your own caravans, car yeah. vans, I mean? Yeah, they do, Chef, but you know, some people are a little bit funny with health and safety. As long they, as you tell they believe everything properly, they see. This is supposed to be safer, because I'm actually turning the gas off so no gas is coming out at all. Yeah. I'll tell you a little story about health and safety, folks. Okay. When I used to work at the last place I worked at, we used to have our own kitchen, kitchen cooking facilities and our own food making premises, like a sink unit, uh, cooker, stuff like that, a microwave and all that. And we used to do our shoppings over the local supermarket and then bring our food back, cook it up and whatever. Anyway, one day someone went over and bought the uh, food provisions or whatever, and they bought some new fairy liquid because we had to buy our own stuff. So we brought that over put it on the sideboard, on, on the uh, sink where we used to put it. Someone went to do the washing up in the afternoon and the uh, fairy liquid had gone. We didn't know where it had gone, it's a brand new bottle. Anyway, we found out the health and safety officer had been round and because fairy liquid wasn't on his register of controlled substances, he confiscated it. Now, you can, say, you can say what you like about health and safety, if it is it really for the benefit of the people who are there, but that is it taken to the letter and the bottom line is, is that is basically not using your own common sense. We like to use our common sense, and that's what we're doing here. Right, okay then folks, here we go then. We're um, gonna add the mushrooms now. Not too much liquid come out of them, lucky enough. So uh, we've cut them mushrooms nice and small, sliced them up very thinly, and just bringing that all together now in the pan. And Sharon's just gonna put some uh, salt and pepper in there, some seasoning, we like black ground pepper there. Put plenty in folks, you wanna taste it. And also we use the pink Himalayan salt as well, folks. So we'll just literally just cook them mushrooms down with that chicken. The chicken's nicely browned off now. Don't forget, folks, what's it going to be cooking in, Shell? It's own juices. No, in the air fryer. Oh, yeah, these pies are down in the air fryer. I not about the chicken. No. Right, I don't know if you can see there, folks, but now we put the mushrooms in. You can see how much more fluid is uh, in the mix. So we're just going to burn that fluid off and let it evaporate. 
So Sharon, just tip the pan up there, folks, as you can see. That's all the liquid that's come out of the chicken and also the mushroom. So we just literally got that over the flame and just bubbling that up there just to evaporate the water in it. And as you can see, it's getting thick already, that, and that will add flavour, Sharon, won't it? Oh, yeah. That'll add flavour to our uh, chicken. Right, so we're just going to now bring all that back together now just to get them that liquid, which is lovely and condensed now, folks. All the water's gone now. We're just going to get the flavour going into that pie. Look at that, look. Superb. And all we're going to do now is literally just take this tin of chicken soup and literally just add that to your mix and that then will get stirred in and just left to bubble away folks while we prepare the pastry in the new little pie cases we've got. I'm liking your t-shirt you got on today, yeah, baby. I'm a doggy mum. You're a doggy mum. Stacey's just doing a new Burn range of a new a new range of t-shirts, folks. Uh, if you want to check out the link below for your merchandise. There you go, look at that. Right, we'll put that to the side now, folks. Can I have a little smell, baby? I just thought it just smells really nice. I just got the aroma. Oh that, oh, that's gonna be good for pies, folks, I tell you. That smells lovely. Right, so that's on low now, baby. Yeah, right, so we'll just put that over there, folks. That's on nice and low. That can just tick away. I like a clean ship, folks. I'm not OCD, but uh, I like a clean ship. I'll get, an apron on. get your apron on, baby. Oh, flour on your top. So we're just going to lightly flour the worktop, folks. I'll do that. Get my hands dirty. So. Just bring that down like that. Look, nice and light. Look at that. Look, any flour will do this, folks. Any flour. There you go. That should be enough, baby. Right, she's just going to roll the old shaft there. Uh, or, what's it called? Flour the shaft? Flour the rolling pin. Hey? Flour the rolling pin. Yeah. A lot of people ask where you get your nanny to. Uh, it was a Christmas pinny. present. It was a Christmas you wear. present. Yeah, so we don't know, folks, actually. In fact, so. I'm going to ask Stacey, I'm going to buy it, get her apron and get her to. Make one? Yeah, but there's Empire on it yeah. when I'm doing the cooking. Yeah. So this is ready rolled pastry, folks, which we're using. Uh, we get this from Lidl, and I think it's just about a pound now, shall we? Just over a pound. Just over a pound. It was about 80 pence a few weeks back, or a few months back, but uh, it's gone up in price for some reason. So we're just going to roll that out flat. Comes on its own backing paper as well. So, And this is, as I said to you, puff pastry, Sharon. We do like short crust pastry as well, don't we, Sharon? Yeah, but I make my own. Right, so you're just going to lay it flat on the, on the uh, floured worktop. And then you're going to remove the uh, the backing paper off of that and keep try and keep it flat. That's right. Oh, look at that. That's it. Yep, beautiful. Now, as I say, that's a ready-made square, folks. You haven't got to do anything with it apart from cut out your pie shapes. So that's our pie tins there. We've got a job lot of them. And we've worked out one of our dessert bowls is big enough. Knife. Eh? Knife to cut round, please. Yeah, we'll be able to fill that pie up as well. Right, so again, we're going to try and get as many as we can out of this, folks. Just cutting around the first one. And hopefully that will go in there just right. Because don't forget, it's quite a deep, deep pie, folks. Oh, and that looks about perfect, Sharon. Look at that, folks. Don't forget, push it right into the corners as well. So our dessert bowl is the actual ideal size for the inside of our pies. Look at that, look. So we've got two rolls of this, folks. So we're going to use, um, get as many as we can out of this. Nice and simple. There you go. Yeah, these are quite good value, folks. You can buy these on Amazon. We get these from Amazon, or they was on our wish list, actually. But they don't cost a lot of money. So they're ideal, because they're the perfect size, and they're like the pucker pie size, Sharon, aren't they? Yeah. So they're nice and deep, little individual pies, happy days. There we go, folks. Out of that first roll of pastry, we got seven bases, and we had a little bit left over as well. And we're now onto the second batch now. She's just doing the lids now. One, two, three, four, five, six there. And we've still got this pastry left out of them two rolls of pastry. And what we have found, we've found a, a smaller plastic container just to make the lids a little bit smaller, as you can see there, look. They just sort of fit on the top there. So that's what we're using for, for the lids. We'll probably get another pie out of there, won't we? 
We'll be saying we've got enough filling. But when you think, when you buy a pie like this in a fish and chip shop, that's two pounds sixty. They're two pounds, about pound. two pound fifty a pie. Yeah. So work that out: two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty quid's worth of pie sitting here, just for a bit of chicken, can of soup, some seasoning. Best to get your wallet out then. Oh, <laughs> get cutting, <laughs> get cutting, baby. Come on, get cutting. And don't forget, folks, these ones are going to be full of filling as well. Not looking, you won't be looking for the fill in here, folks. What? We hope not. Why? I don't think we'll be getting this many buys. No, but that's why we've got lucky enough. If we, if we run out of mixture, oh, yeah, we've got the stew We've steak. got the stew and steak in the tin, which is absolutely great in pies as well, folks. So we could be pulling on that, pulling that one out, Shay, couldn't we? I'm wondering now, see, you've got me uh, going now, whether or not it's worth throwing a, a che cheese and a cheese, what's it called? Cheese and onion pie in there. We'll see what, how we go. Yeah. If we, if we run out of mix, folks, if we run out of mix, we'll throw some different ones in here as well. We're, it's what you call a curveball, Sharon. We're throwing a curveball into it, yeah? Right, and we've got there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pies. And what do we get left over there? A little ball there. You can do, I'll tell you what, you can make a little pasty with that. Should we make a cheese and pasty? Yeah, go on, roll it out, go on. We won't roast it, folks, because this is all going to be cooked up, you see, so. Look, roll that out, baby. Get, you get a pasty shape made out, and we'll, oh, we I'll grate some. Circle. I'll grate some cheese up. What am I coming right down here for, folks? Look, hey. I'll grate some cheese up and cut some onion up, and we we'll put that in one as well, folks. Okay, folks. So I've just grated some uh, mature cheddar English cheese there, and I've also got some um, onion as well. This is our little pasty. Now, do we get some grief when we had our uh, homemade pasties, which oh, we made, Sharon, gosh, yeah. from the people who live in Blinton, Cornwall? who tell you you're doing it all wrong, you can't call that a pasty. You can call a pasty what you like. This is a cheese and onion pasty. It's not a Cornish pasty, it's a cheese and onion pasty, baby, isn't it? Oh, damn it. Not oh, me, damn. it's the comment section, baby. Sometimes the Cornwall people, oh, there's only one way to make the pasty. I said, well, what about a Jamaican patty then, or pasty? Is there, another, is there a special way to eat a Cornish pasty? Yeah, then they go through all the, what, the ways of what you should do, beef skirt, there should be never any carrot in there. It should be put in raw, well, we know all that, but that's a Cornish pasty. That's how you make it down in Cornwall. Up in Lincoln, Sharia, this is how we make it. <laughs> anyway, that was just my little, not gripe, shall what is it? Rant. Little rant there, yeah, little rant. So we've got some of that left over if we want to make one of these into a pie if we haven't got enough of our cheese, uh, chicken mix, folks. Right, brilliant, let's get filling, baby. We've let the mixture cool down now. As you can see there, it's cooled down nice and uh, tepid now, so happy days with that, and we'll start to fill these pies up. Right, so there's our little cheese and onion pasty as well, folks. And Sharon, just going around the edge, just with a little crimp, with a fork just to seal that edge in. You have uh, put the egg wash yep. all around the edge there, so it should uh, seal up all right. And just give it a little brush with a little bit of the old egg wash there, folks. And that should help it color up nicely as well. All right, so I'll just put that on a tray, folks, only because it's easy, that's all. And we're gonna whack that into our Ninja. I'm just gonna stand that in there. I could cook it on the base. There's no reason for me doing that apart from just that I've got it available. So let's put that in there. We'll put it on air fry. We'll do it at 160 degrees for, we'll try it for 16 minutes, but we will be keeping an eye on it, folks. And that could just tick away now while we fill these other pies up. Here we go, folks. Get your filling in there, as I say. Get some of that juice in there as well. You don't want to overload it. That looks, that looks perfect, baby. So we're just gonna fill these up, folks, as much as we can. Oh yeah, look at that. They look succulent, look. Beautiful. Right, you carry on, baby. Right, folks, so it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pies out of that mix, so we've got an extra two here. So all Sharon's done, literally, is tip our onion into our cheese, and we're gonna fill these two pies, these last two, with our cheese and onion mix. So here we go. Not, don't know what these are gonna turn out like, folks, to be honest with you, but we'll give it a go anyway. Never done these before. Okay, there we go. So all we're gonna do is go around the edge of the pies, folks, just with the egg wash there. And then also around the top of the pie. And hopefully, that should be near enough the right size on our pie. There you go. So we'll go along and do all these, folks, and then we'll come back to you. So we'll see you in a minute. Well, folks, 
our pasties out. We're going to give that a try in just a second. But we've actually got two, four, six, <laughs> eight pies we made out of that little mix, folks. So it did go a long way after all. Although two of them are cheese and onion. So what we're going to do now, we're actually going to put these in the fridge because we're going to have them later on. But we're going to cook up two of them. One chicken and mushroom one and also one cheese and onion one just to see how they come out i know that's a cheese and onion because you only put one prick in that didn't yeah, you and you can have that one because that's not a very good looking one right well okay then so let's put them away we'll get these in the fridge and you put that pasty on as i said for 160, 160. degrees for 16 16 minutes and we'll do exactly the same with these and we'll see how they turn you out. put them in there and i'll put them in the fridge that's teamwork baby that's us right so i'll cook the um pasty and the ninja and this time I'm going to cook the uh, pies in a cassori. So in goes the chicken and mushroom and in goes the... If you make different pies at home, make sure you do different things on the top so you know. So one prick is with the well, cheese and the onion. Knife, yeah. And the fork is with the mushrooms. Chicken cheese, and mushroom. chicken and mushrooms. Right, so we put that in there, folks. You'll get four good pies in that size there, folks, by the looks of it. Easy. So we put that in there. Turn it on. And we're going to go 160 degrees, so if I go flashing time, take that down to 160. And tight, I'll leave it on 15 minutes, shall? Yeah, whatever. And just press start, and off we go, folks. This is the Kasuri 5.5 XXL, and this one here, as you well know, is the Ninja AF400. Both as good as each other. They are both as good both as each other, and a lot of people say, what one is the best? Well, it's not a matter of being yeah. the best, folks. It's a matter of what you want at the end of the day. Yeah. We do like having two drawers, but the drawers on this one is absolutely enormous and fine, and even the, the 3.8 litre yeah, one. People have asked, I actually did roast a chicken in there yesterday, in that... In this one? Yeah. And it was fine? Yeah, absolutely fine. So instead of using that as a warming oven now, we don't need to turn it on at all now. All we do now is if we're cooking our food in there, we can use this one as a warming oven. So that's what we do. So here's our little pastry, folks, or our little pasty there, look. Golden on top, it was red hot when we took it out, it's cooled down a little bit now. So let's just cut it straight down the middle, baby. Let's see how, just open it up, let's have a little look. Because we haven't cooked these before, have we? Oh, I can smell oh, it. Oh, was it smell of? my mouth, what was it? Has it? My favourite, cheese and onion. She loves a cheese and onion I pastry. I like a pasty. Right, well it would be rude not to test this one first, shall, wouldn't it? Yeah, baby. So hold on, should we think about it? Oh, think about what you're doing. It smells divine. I'll tell you what, should we go in together? We've never done that. We've never gone in together before, have we? <laughs> have we? Come on, baby. Oh. That. Oh. Oh, Darren. You know, don't you? It's cold outside and it looks like it's going to rain. I've had, the ones, I've had the ones in the shops that you buy maybe in one of the bakery shops or whatever. What, Greg's? Or oh, what's the other place? Copeland's, is it Copeland's or whatever? And they always leave me wanting. Oh, petrol station? Oh, petrol station, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. I didn't think that'd be any good, folks, to be honest with you. Really? I didn't think it would have much flavour. But we've got an extra mature cheddar in there. And the onions, Running through it, bring maracas to the party, Sharon. They're no maracas. They, they're lovely. I can hear them clacking away there. And let me let me show you this, folks. Look at oh, look, 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 look at that oozing. Look, that alone is a triumph, Sharon. It's amazing. What a great little afterthought that is, folks. I may be a doggy mummy, but I won't share this for you. <laughs> what a great little afterthought. So let's come back to you while we enjoy this in the next 15 minutes. Right, they're out, folks. Let's have a little look. Just measure the temperature on them, folks. We want them to go up, obviously, above 75. Does not that it matters too much with these because they're already cooked items. There we go, 75 degrees centigrade. That one's cooked. And also the uh, cheese and onion one. Oh yeah, that's zoomed up there, shall, isn't it? Look at that, 81 plus. Absolutely fantastic. Right, let's get them out, folks. Just look at them, folks. Let's take a closer look. Folks, they look absolutely tremendous. Let's see if we can turn them out. Okay, baby, I'll let you do the honours. Flip it over. Oh, yes. 
Oh yeah, that looks lovely for. Oh, it's just you can feel but that that is absolutely superb. Look just, at that. I've got my pie yeah, like turn it over that way. Yeah, you like your pie that way. Go on, then. turn that one out, baby. That's fantastic. Right, so this one is the chicken and mushroom one. This one is Sharon's cheese and onion one. I think we'll go in for that one first, baby. I'll cut it straight down the middle. Wait there, I'll open it up for you, baby. Don't worry. Oh, look at that little baby. Right, this is the one that I like the look of. Well, I like the look of both of them, actually. Let's cut through into this one, shall we? This is the chicken and mushroom. Oh, it's cooked all the way through. I can sense it. You ready? Oh, look. Look how packed they are, Sharon. Look. Oh, there you go. Super. Nice. Right, baby, what one should we try first? Well, I'll try a bit of that one, and you, you can get on with your one then. Go on and try. No, I want to try yours as well, shall we? All right. Go on, cut a nice big chunk off. You want a bit of everything in there, folks. I'm hoping that seasoning's going to be fantastic. Well? I will say, I never go for chicken pies as a rule, but I'll go for that one. All right, I'm going to have to go in, folks. There's no two ways about it, and I can see a big, big bit of chicken there with my name written all over it, Sharon. Oh, my God, I've got everything. I've got full metal jacket here, folks. I've got everything on there. The full what the full works, the full Monty. Look at that, look. I'm going in. Oh. 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 I just bit through that chicken jar. I was gonna say bit his toe. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know, don't you? That's probably. One of the best chicken and mushroom pies I think I've ever had. Mm. Absolutely delicious. You can taste that chicken seasoning we put on there. The chicken soup is a fantastic ready-made sauce for it. The mushrooms, the depth of the mushrooms coming through, because we boiled off all the liquid out of the mushrooms, didn't we? Yeah, it's all cooked to its own juices, as I like to say. And the crust on the pastry going top and bottom. I'm not a lid pastry person, shall are we? If a pie is not a pie, a pie is not a pie unless it's got a top and a bottom. Top and a bottom, basically. That's fantastic, Sharon. Let's have a lock in, Sharon. Let's go for the old cheese and onion. Now you like a cheese and onion pie. Strange, I feel like I just did it a while ago in the shape of pastry. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's a pie though, Sharon. It's a pie. What's it like? Thank you saying that. The pastry is different on a pie to a pasta, which yeah. I've never really noticed. But yeah. having the same filling, you can taste the difference. Thing is, Shell, it's a lot thicker in here, isn't it? Hang on, you're taking off. I'm just looking at it, Shell. Look, I'm just showing everybody. Look, Shell, oh, you got another one. If you want to cook another one up, baby, there's another one in the fridge. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have one. to, Shell. I've got to go in, baby. Jimmy don't like mushrooms. Shell, I've got to go in. I only had a quarter of these. Oh. Greedy. It's fantastic, folks. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Make your own pies. Like, the, we've had the, the cheap ones from the shops, haven't we? Yeah. Where you can pick them up for like 50 pence a pie. I don't know what this cost us. It wasn't a lot of money, though, was it? And these are a revelation. You think you're eating a proper pie shell, don't you? You said you've got eight pies. Give it a go, folks. You're going to absolutely love these ones. And as I say, you can make all them. Just freeze them. Freeze them in, in that yeah. situation. Make sure you defrost them first before you cook them in the, in the um, air fryer. Yeah, because that does cut, cut the time down. 160 degrees? Mm-hmm. 15 minutes, 14 or 15 minutes. Happy days, that's all you need. Thanks very much, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Do check out other yeah. cooking videos and air fryer videos, slow cooker videos. All simple stuff. All stuff that we should be doing at home mm -hmm. rather than buying that mass-produced stuff with all them chemicals in and the preservatives and stuff. And you are saving money cooking it at home, believe it or not, as well. Have a little binge watch of our videos, folks. A lot of people are doing that at the moment. And we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye-bye. Bye for now, baby. God, that was superb, Sharon. Ooh.